All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, so let's solve this initial value problem. First thing we're going to do is rewrite this in a familiar notation. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite this as y dy by dx equals x e to the minus y squared. Okay, now we can move some stuff around. So we can just so we can bring this dx to this side and then this e to the minus y to the left side, right? So if you multiply both sides by um, dx, we get y dy equals x e to the minus y squared dx. Then we can bring this e to the y component down over here, which gives us, if, well, well, essentially this is just, well, this is the same as, I'm just gonna, let me just, let me just erase that, let's call, let's just rewrite this as, um, as x over e to the y squared. Remember, just, this is just e to the minus y, so I'm just bringing this whole thing down, okay? This, this is, e to the minus y is the same as 1 over e to the y squared, okay? Then we're going to multiply both sides by e to the y squared. That's going to give us y e to the y squared dy equals x dx. Okay, so now we're going to take the integral of both sides, okay? Take the integral of that side. And the integral of that side. Okay, so this is quite straightforward, right? This part, this side is pretty straightforward. Uh, this is just a simple, this is just simply x squared over 2 plus c. Now this requires a bit of manipulation, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try substitution substitution first, okay? So we can recognize that if we let u equals y squared, then when you differentiate y squared, you get 2y. And we have a y here, so it looks like a good candidate for uh, integration by substitution, right? So let's just see how it works out. Let u equals y squared and then du differentiating both sides du gives us 2y dy right okay so now we can just we can recognize that, okay, we have a y here, we have a y here, we can substitute this in, right? But you, but we have a multiple. So, but we have a y here, not two y. So we have to get du over two equals y dy, which we have here. We have a y here and we have dy here, so we can easily substitute this in. So this whole thing becomes the integral of e to the u e to the u du over 2, okay, which is just one half times the integral of e to the u, and integral of e to the u is e to the u, so this is just one half e to the u plus c, and we, gotta, we have to replace the u back with the y term, so this becomes, which is, one half e to the y squared plus c. Okay, so now we have these two parts, so we can we can just take both of these and cross it off. We can take both of these, and we have that one half e
e to the y squared plus c. I make it a bit neater. E, one half e to the y squared plus c equals x squared over 2 plus c. Okay, so we're just going to make this, make our lives easier. We need to multiply both sides by 2. So that's just going to give us e to the y squared plus 2c. It's going to be 2c, but it's just not, it's an arbitrary constant. So we'll just call that c equals x squared plus c. And these are just two arbitrary constants. So, you know, it could be the case that they're both the same, in which case they, this is just, they cancels out, or they could be two different numbers, in which case it's still just arbitrary constant. So what we can do is we can just get rid of one of these c's and represent it with just one c. Okay. All right. Now we need to solve for this. So we need to solve for y, right? So now we can, what we can do is we can take the log of both sides, which would give us, so if you just take the log of this and the log of this. So if you take the log of e to the something, you get whatever the power of e is. So it's just going to be y squared equals the log of x squared plus c. And y equals the square root of the natural log of x squared plus c. Okay, so now we're given that when y is 0, then when, 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 when x is 0, y is minus 2. Okay, so we have that minus 2 equals the square root of the natural log of c. And then what we can do is we can square both sides. We get 4 equals natural log of c. And we can just take e, e as the exponent of both sides. We get e to the fourth equals c. And now we have the value of the constant. So this is this is the equation that we're looking for. Let me just change the color. So this is oops, this is what we are looking for overall, right? This thing. But now we can give it a concrete value. We can say exactly what this equation is, but by substituting this e to the four back in. So this becomes y equals the square root of ln x squared plus e to the 4. And that's, that's, that's the final answer. I mean, you could also leave it like this, but this is the answer. Okay, great.